A new report finds anti-Muslim hate crimes are on the rise in America, and that follows numerous reports of anti-Jewish hate crimes earlier this year. Yeah, it is due to Israel's ongoing war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Fox's Misha DeBono talks to Muslim advocates who are calling for action. Our elected officials have yet to declare a ceasefire resolution across San Diego County. And we demand that today. Members of the Council of American Islamic Relations, along with civil rights advocates, students and local administrators, gathered to demand that local leaders call for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and protect them from the recent rise in Islamic hate, as well as protect their right to speak out against the war in Gaza. 8,061 complaints were filed for anti-Muslim incidences across the nation. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CAR as it's known, released its annual civil rights report, which documents a major increase in anti-Muslim hate. In the months following the attack on Israel, there were more than 8,000 reported incidents across the country. Here in San Diego, there's been a 300% increase. A lot of the cases that we receive in our office reflect employment discrimination, hate incidences happening in the community, Incidents have been reported in students as young as K through 12 and up through college. I have seen also students being bullied at school just because of their names and because of uh, they are Muslims or Arabs or Palestinians. This young man attends San Diego State and says the university has not done enough to support them or protect their right to free speech. They have chosen to ignore us. They have chosen to allow us to be attacked. And so we will hold them accountable. And that's really their bigger message here, holding those in power accountable. We as American Muslims are being targeted and singleized. Our ask is for the Biden administration to declare a permanent ceasefire. We're asking that we as a community not be stifled, our speech not be restricted, our freedom of expression and our First Amendment rights not be taken away from us. And that's really their message to stop any type of racial or religious hatred whatsoever. And they say to hold elected officials, city, state and federal President Biden accountable to make sure that their First Amendment rights are protected. From Kearney Mesa, I'm Misha DeBone.